Hello, welcome back. This tutorial will be on the preferences settings for the vMix panel builder. Um, in the preferences, these should be set up uh, for the first time when you use the panel builder. You should go through here and set up uh, what you like for your preferences and save them as your default preferences. They can be changed later, of course, uh, but the first time you should probably go through them. Make sure you have the proper uh, uh, setup and information uh, within there. So let's uh, go through these. Uh, the first uh, first thing you want to make sure is that you have the vMix IP set up in here. So this is um, basically the IP without the port number. So just put the IP of vMix in here on your network so that the panel builder will talk to that particular IP. You could also, uh, if you're running vMix on a DDNS server, so in a remote location, um, and you have access uh, that way, you can put the DDNS server name and it will control it uh, remotely as well. Uh, here is uh, BitFocus IP. Um, this controller can also send commands to the BitFocus companion um, software and uh, that's part of the Stream Deck um, uh, open source uh, stuff as well where people are uh, uh, using the BitFocus companion to control uh, Stream Deck um, um, controller but uh, this can also control the BitFocus and send uh, key up or key, or key down commands to uh, the specific BitFocus keys. So you would put the IP of wherever you're running the BitFocus software and that would uh, then the panel builder will send the command to that IP. Um, always on top here if you can check that off here it will always ensure that your this, the panel builder is on top of any other windows. That's kind of normal for a lot of software. You can do that. Uh, you can open last template on startup. So when you start up uh, the panel builder, it will open the last used uh, template or panel. Uh, you can hide the VUs, the fader VUs. So if there's, um, if you have faders on your panel and you wanted to hide the VUs, uh, you can just select it there. You can hide the views when they're muted only if you like. Actually what I will do is load up, I'll open a panel here to show you how you can hide views and things here. We'll just open this one up. So here is a, you can see the views going on here. This is uh, something running out of vMix currently. Now if I had hidden the views um, here they would be hidden. And if I have them hidden when they're muted only, let's go back. So here they're, oops, sorry, they're actually running. When they're blue like this means that they are, uh, they're muted. But I could hide that as well by clicking on here. When they're muted, they would be hidden and you would only see when they're actually active. So you have those options. Now set tablet, uh, tablet template as default. Um, if you're designing for an iPad, um, mostly, you can check this off and it will open up as a tablet um, template. So that means it is no longer, it's not sizable, it's not a desktop template. Uh, you can password protect when you're saving these files. So they can be password protected so they Nobody can edit them without the password. Um, I'm going to jump up to here. The default button size. So when you create these buttons, this is the default size. You can have whatever default size you want here. If you're used to designing for a certain size, um, tablets or, or other, or even the desktop, you can have whatever preference you like. And the default button text size. Of course, the text within the buttons, you can choose that. Uh, number of pages to display. Now. Uh, you can have up to six pages on here and let's say we had three you would see now it's added a couple other pages here so you can see that there's nothing on page two and three but you could actually have up to six pages if you like if you wanted to have the audio maybe on one page and your video commands on another that's uh, that's your choice so you can add whatever you want um, the background basically you can change a background to I had it on black plastic and you can change it to a, a brushed aluminum look here 
you can even just change it to a custom color if you like if you wanted to let's just change change it to a random color so you can have a custom color I uh, I typically use the black plastic just the one I prefer uh, low CPU mode that will um, that will use less CPU but it's not going to be um, it's going to affect the accuracy of your VU meters so let's just say I had some VUs running here and uh, let's say we had those VUs going here you can see that they're fairly accurate but if you go to low CPU mode they're going to struggle a bit because they're not um, they're not getting the data quite as quick okay so um, that's good for computers that are uh, don't have the, uh, the CPU horsepower because this does use a little bit it's um, it's uh, checking a lot of information from vMix uh, quite often so it uh, it uh, does does consume a bit of CPU. Uh, you can have uh, default user folders, so this is where your panels will be uh, will be uh, uh, saved. You can change that if you want it and save it somewhere else. Just choose your folder and it'll save it wherever you like. The default log folder. Now um, there's a vMix also, or not vMix, the panel builder actually will save uh, logs as well. Um, Basically, whatever shows up on the output of vMix, uh, this will um, put it into a log file so that, you know, if you have to send it to, for whatever reason, to your uh, your producer and they wanted to, to see what's happened at a certain time in a show, it's a little bit easier to filter through it. It's not quite an EDL, but uh, it does produce a log file and it pr produces two log files. One of them is what's called a running log. So uh, whatever's happening, uh, uh, it will put the actual time of day uh, on the log. The other one is called a record log. So when you start recording in vMix, it creates a start. Uh, it creates a file starting at zero, so that uh, you can say 30 minutes into the show, you can just go down to 30 minutes, and not necessarily in real time, but in recording time, and uh, easily find uh, what you're looking for. Um, then of course you can save those where you like as well. Uh, save as default preferences. Once you've got your preferences you can just save that as your default. So I usually just leave it on one page here, save as default and it's saved those preferences. Anyway I hope that helped out a little bit. Um, always feel free to ask for, uh, for help or questions or comments either on the forum or at uh, info at studio793.ca. You can always ask there if, uh, if you need some help. Okay, we'll talk to you on the next uh, tutorial. Thanks for listening.